Here are some problems where you have a missing number in multiplication equations. This one says 11 times q equals 44. So one way to think about this is to ask yourself, 11 times what is 44? And this one may be simple enough for you to say, oh, I, I think I know that. If you put a 4 in there for q, 11 times 4 would be 44. And if you can do that in your head, good for you, that's great. Maybe that's not obvious to you. Another way to do this is to take this q and try to get it alone. This would be the algebra way to do it. Because it's being multiplied by 11, you would undo that by dividing both sides by 11. When you do that, when you divide both sides by 11, these 11's cancel and all you get is q over here, which is what you want. On this side, you've got 44 divided by 11. That equals 4. Let's take a look at another one. This one says 6 equals 2b. When a number and a letter are right next to each other, that's the same thing as them being multiplied together. So 6 equals 2 times b, or another way to think of this is if I multiply 2 times something to get 6, what would that something be? What can I multiply by 2 to get 6? Well, you might think that that's 3, and you'd be right if you can think of that. If you want to do it the algebra way, you'd say, how do I undo whatever's being done to this variable here to get it by itself? And since it's being multiplied by 2, I would divide by 2, but I have to do it to both sides because that's the rules of algebra. On this side, the 2's cancel and you just get a b. On that side, you get 6 divided by 2, you get b equals 3. One thing you might notice so far is that with these multiplication problems, we're always doing the opposite. We're always dividing. Here's another one, and this one probably you don't know off the top of your head. It doesn't jump out at you. 11 times y equals 143. So what times 11 would equal 143? Well, I don't know. I could uh, jump around on my calculator, start putting in things. Let's see, 11 times 10 would be 110. I could do 11 times 11, that would be 121. I could do 11 times 12, that's 132. I could do 11 times 13, and that would be 143. Okay, so I found it just by trial and error. So I found that it was 13. And that's kind of a, it takes a lot of effort to do that. Another way to, to do this is just to do the division. Whether you're doing it the algebra way or you're doing it in your head, what you should notice is that if you divide this number by the number that's multiplied by the variable, you're going to get the right answer. So in algebra, we'd say undo this 11 multiplied by y by dividing by the 11, but do it to both sides. The 11's would cancel. You get y equals 143 divided by 11, and that is 13. So those are some problems about missing numbers in multiplication.